5G service from Verizon has launched, but you're going to have to be really lucky to find it. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to share with you an update on the race to 5G. Now, last month, Verizon announced that they were going to be rolling out their first 5G service on April 11th in select parts of Chicago and Minneapolis. Um, but they surprised the world. Um, they accelerated the schedule and launched by surprise on April 3rd instead. Like, why would they pull forward just a few days? Well, it seems to be all about bragging rights. Uh, they found out that the carriers in Korea were about to launch 5G service as well, and well, Verizon wanted to be able to claim that they were the first in the world to offer real 5G for smartphones. That's opposed to AT&T's bragging rights, which you know, AT&T last December launched the first mobile 5G network, but for a hotspot only. And well, last fall, Verizon launched 5G, but for residential service. This race to 5G right now is all about bragging rights, all about marketing, and not that's really about anything practical. The service that Verizon has rolled out is barely available in just a few street corners in Chicago and Minneapolis, and it is only available on one smartphone, the Motorola Z3, which was a mid-tier smartphone from last year, but which has now the um, 5G Moto Mod backpack that you could slap onto the back of it that upgrades it to be technically the world's first 5G smartphone. So you've got a kind of a big double-sized clunky smartphone. You're paying an extra $10 a month and well what do you get for that? Well if you're lucky enough to win at the scavenger hunt wandering around Minneapolis or Chicago there are people who are now out there sharing their speed tests online showing 700 megabits per second of download speed. Um, Verizon says the average speed should be around 450 megabits per second on their 5G network. Um, but all reports from the field are that it is really a scavenger hunt. You'll lose service if you go inside a building or more than a few feet from a window or if you walk too far down a street. Um, so this is just about bragging rights right now, just about being able to show off, hey, look what I'm getting on my phone. And well, these plans, it's $10 extra on top of all of Verizon's current uh, um, data plans, and you still get all the same limitations, including actually even video being throttled. So you've got a massively fast 5G connection, but it's still, depending on your plan, throttling your video resolution and or has hotspot usage limits and other things like that. So unless you really are seeking out bragging rights, this is just a fun horse race to watch from afar. We'll be seeing other carriers and other devices and many other things coming, all claiming to be the first of this or the first of that or new speed records as the race for 5G ramps up, but it doesn't really matter for real everyday people until it earliest the very end of 2019 and much more likely 2020 or even 2021 is when 5G becomes really mainstream and worth worth investing in. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.